to my channel today we are reviewing Olaplex Zero a lot of people have been raving about this product and so we are going to put it to the test today and see if it does the do of course we are reviewing it on my head type so let's get it popping let's let, let me not sit here and pretend like you don't see and I don't see that I cut my hair I did <laughs> so before the review, I'm going to color my hair real quick and I'll be right back to show you how it looks like before I put the Olaplex on there. Okay, I'm back. I wasn't expecting this, but this is a nice, pleasant surprise. So I picked up Pop Riot blush with the expectation of getting sort of like a rose gold color. I plopped this on my hair and that's what I got and I'm excited. But that's not what we're here for. Our original intention is to get this Olaplex thing going. So that's what we're about to be doing. Now, let's open this box. And let's talk about it. Now, it says limited edition on the box. Meaning that it, this is probably Olaplex Zero is gonna come by itself after a while i guess in the promotion of kind of like advertising this and getting people to know this and letting you know that these two are supposed to be used together there's a small 30 milliliters of oplex number three in the box but i am assuming that in the future it will pop it will come by itself now this bottle of oplex zero is 155 milliliters apparently on it you can use it has about applications of three to six application you can use it that many times i am hand heavy and i use products a little bit more than i'm supposed to so i don't know if this will be six applications for me but we'll see what happens now it's a liquid and in terms of instructions you are supposed to put it on your hair for 10 minutes this liquidy stuff and then let it sit on there how to sit on your hair for 10 minutes then apply number three this small number three to it and then also have it sit on there another 10 minutes that makes it 20 minutes and then you're going to rinse your hair shampoo and conditioner preferably they say use Oplex number four and five which is a shampoo and conditioner so before I apply it I kind of want to do a little bit of talking just in case you have never ever referred to my other videos which I'll probably put here up here somewhere so you guys can go and see my original video where I reviewed one through six I have two Olaplex reviews on my channel already so you can go over there and look at the breakdowns but I'll talk about the active ingredients a little bit a little bit more here in this video. The active ingredient in Olaplex is oh my god it's a long name I used to call it this, but let me let, let me try it out. This aminopropyl diglycol dimelic. <laughs> Period. Anywho, so this active ingredient is what's potent in the Olaplex that gives us all the benefits that we always talk about, right? And the overall premise of Olaplex is it, it kind of um, repairs and strengthens your hair from hair that's damaged now overall healthy hair has keratin proteins in it and keratin proteins have these disulfide bonds in it which ss sulfur atoms together all of y'all hair nerds over here and these um disulfide bonds are very strong bonds in your hair and if your hair hasn't gone through a lot of chemical changes you are not heat styling you are not coloring your hair you are not um over brushing you are not out here getting perms relaxes and all of that these bonds in your hair are very strong now when you start doing these other things that sort of alter the chemical state of your hair 
your hair, these bonds, disulfide bonds in your hair break apart. Now, what Odoplex comes in, the active ingredient, base amino propyl di glycol diamylate, when it comes in as a bond multiplier. Now, some other some other companies have bond multipliers, but in this sense, this active ingredient comes in and bonds with the disulfide bonds that have been broken up in your hair. And they form new bonds, and they, they, they form new bonds with the sulfates that are kind of left broken off from all the damage or the things that you've been doing to your hair and they, they, they form new bonds and they strengthen your hair. Your hair feels better. If you have curly hair that's been stretched out from a uh, high chemical reaction, your curls kind of clump back in. That's what I'm thinking should happen to my curl when I put this, this stuff in there. Um, and you know, it gives your hair a little bit more shine. It's pretty much vegan, sulfate free, all that. All the things that's healthy for your hair that most of the hair industry, I guess, product manufacturers are trying to do. So people are going more into the more natural product, um, putting more natural products in your hair. So Olaplex has this whole premise of everything in there is natural and all of that stuff. Hmm. But anywho, when these new bones form, they are strong. But definitely they are not as strong as the original disulfide bones that were in your hair. The natural ones. The ones that God created you with. And so the bonds have to sort. They eventually end up loosening up. And that's why when you do these Olaplex treatments, you can't just do it one time and your hair is just done. You can't just put um, an Olaplex treatment in your hair one time and then that's it ever. You have to continue to do these treatments. That's what these... Um, th that's what the company also premises that you could have to continue to do these pro um, treatments what two to three weeks every two to three weeks or depending on how damaged your hair is you can continue to do these treatments so your hair can be repaired from all the damage that you did to it so so with a little bit of breakdown that I've done for you let me go ahead and apply this stuff to my hair so we can see how it works on my curl okay here we go this is the first step of it, the zero. And, okay. Uh, so I guess it just comes out of here like that. I changed positions because I wanted to be close, close to my mirror so I can see my mirror. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting this in here all over my hair. I want it to come out a little bit faster, but it's not. And I just open it up. This is how you end up getting too much product in your hair, but I kind of opened it up because I'm in a, I'm sort of in a rush, and I need it all to be in my hair quickly so we can keep it going. So this is about how much I use. If you can see, not that much. I thought I was gonna use a whole lot more, but I didn't. And I'm gonna put the now I'll go back on there. So I'm pretty much in love with this color that I have. And I'm going to have this thing sit on my hair for 10 minutes. I'll set my timer up to 10 minutes and then I'll come back and apply the number three to My 10 minutes is up and I have a bigger Olaplex three, so I will be using that so I can finish out my bottle. So this is it. And I'm gonna put that on my hair. Easier to come out of the bottle. What I'm doing is I'm combing through my hair too, so I can get a proper distribution of the product. And hey guys, I am done and I'm loving my results. Now, let's talk it through. Now I washed, I rinsed it out, I rinsed the um the product out, and I shampooed and conditioned and conditioned my hair. 
I didn't have Olaplex 4 and 5 shampoo dedicated to Olaplex so I used whatever I had in but I styled it with number six the bond smoother and then uh, put the bond oil in my hair too I didn't want to add any gel to my hair so that I can kind of see how my hair just looks and feels um, without trying to enhance my curls any further now if I get closer you can see my hair my curls my hair feels really soft so that's good that's like a plus in terms of how my curls look I didn't feel like it got got constricted or got you know sometimes when you use certain products you just feel like it's really in there my curls feels even tighter I don't necessarily think so with old plex but overall in general I do like the way my hair feels it does not feel dry it feels really moisturized and so I, I like the results and I think I need to wait it out about a week or so to see kind of how my hair feels during the next couple of days to kind of give a feel a real sort of review of how this looks like now I'm trying to figure out if my hair feels any different from using just three by itself before um, zero came out um, I think it would just take me a little bit more times of tr application to make that evaluation but for now I like what's what's going on I like the way my hair feels um, also I kind of wanted to dive in there and also talk about the fact that this uh, Olaplex Zero treatment reminds me of the standalone treatment that we do in a salon with Olaplex number one and two. Now, if you don't know what the standalone treatment, ask your stylist. If your stylist uses Olaplex, they should know that. It is a mixture of about half an ounce of Olaplex number one and then you mix it with three ounces of distilled water it becomes watery just like the zero and then you apply it to the client's hair let it sit on there for five or more minutes then you apply number two to the hair let it sit on there for 10 or more minutes then you rinse the hair out um, shampoo and condition condition the hair and it makes your hair feel really good it strengthens the hair and like it really gets in there on hair that's pretty damaged from all the chemical processes that people like do to their hair at home and also sometimes at the salon depending on kind of like how much of a treatment that the client needs thin alone treatment Olaplex is really good for the hair now I think I read in the blogs that um, Olaplex was trying to mimic kind of the standalone treatment for people to be able to um, use that at home now that COVID is here people cannot get to the salon as often like they used to be able to get into the salon this is a good way for you to get in there and get your hair any type of compromise they a lot of people are doing their hair themselves anyways at this point coloring their roots and all that so this is a way for you to kind of sort of pre preserve the integrity of your hair and get in there and do treatments at home by yourself um, another thing that um, I read in the blogs was that um, the reason why Olaplex wants you to use zero and three together is that the zero acts almost like a primer, kind of like when you apply makeup, put a primer on your face, then you put the foundation on top of it. So zero kind of like sticks, to, adheres to your hair and start working in there to help with the restore the restoration of the damage of your hair and kind of strengthens it and three puts putting three on top of it actually helps the two to work together to give you like a more solid repair of your of, 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 of your hair so I, I guess I like that trying to mimic um, standalone treatments but if you do want the standalone treatment um, don't hesitate to ask your stylist um, and they'll be able to do that for you at the salon also I am an Ol Olaplex affiliate if you don't know I have a link below if you like Olaplex you like the products I like them my final thoughts the active ingredient position in the ingredient list now the active ingredient which I talked about this amino propyl diglycol dimelic where is located on the bottle now the box well actually it doesn't have it on the bottle but it has it on the box that it's water and the second ingredient is the active ingredient which is good because it's potent and it's strong in there it's in there to do its job so when you put that on your hair it's working it's not all the way at the end of the list it's still in the second position same thing with old flex number one which has water as the first ingredient and the active ingredient the second um, 
it's, a, it's, it's, it's on the sec, it's second on the list, which tells you that it's really strong, it's in there, and it's going to do its job. Now, in comparison of the standard loan treatment that I mentioned before, which is one and two mixture, um, I do think that the active ingredient is a little bit more potent in that combination. And so if you wanted more of a deeper treatment of repair and repair, I would suggest that you ask a stylist to do a standalone treatment for you. And I think number zero and three together is a milder version of that, which is an at-home treatment. So if you felt like you needed a little bit more, then that'll, that'll be when you go to the salon and get a standalone treatment. So overall, I just do think that zero and three does what it says it's going to do. I just kind of want to figure out a little bit more over the week how my hair feels. Before I go, I want to ask, have you used Olaplex Zero yet? What do you think about it? What are your thoughts? Do you like it? Do you not like it? And also, if you already uh, have used Olaplex in the, in the past or you use Olaplex number three, does it feel different? Um, now that you have to add zero to to your treatment process, if you've tried it, let me know in the in the comments what you think. Thank you so so much for watching and staying here and hearing me talk and chit chat and all my shenanigans. Until next time, I will talk to you guys later.